This year, like the last, has been incredibly busy for the International Union of Psychological Science and its leadership, not least of which has been a new look and evolving website and rebranded marketing material befitting our role and stature as psychology's global voice. IUCIS is pleased to welcome Ghana, Macau, and Zambia as our newest national members, and the Caribbean Alliance for National Psychology Associations, CANPA, as our 20th affiliate. There has been a spurt of activity and growth in regional and international conferences, relying on the template that IUCIS has developed over time. The Executive Committee met twice, and the officers held six meetings during the year. I represented the union at the United Nations Psychology Day in April, and during this visit, I met with various mainly African missions, all of whom expressed support for greater involvement by the union at the United Nations. The Psychology Day activities were well organized and attended, especially by diplomats and students from the tri-state area. The plan to appoint a presidential task team to research the UN to determine the future union involvement at the UN and its related agencies has received enthusiastic support from key UN representatives. And I'm pleased to say that the UN task team has started its work. This year, I engaged with the leadership of the Psychological Societies and Associations of Ireland, Britain, America, Brazil, Kenya, Zimbabwe, and Zambia. In addition, during the CANPA conference that was held in Paramaribo, Suriname, I had the opportunity to share common understandings with the leadership of CANPA. EC member Ava Thompson must be commended for her leadership of CANPA, which highlights the joint and several roles that country membership can play in developing a framework for more critical and representative Caribbean psychology. IUCIS congratulates Omawale Amaleru Marshall and his other colleagues who were unanimously elected onto the incoming CANPA leadership. In similar vein, the Pan-African Psychology Union, PAPU, was launched in Durban, South Africa in September this year. There have been exciting developments within ICSU and the ISSC, both of which IUCIS is a key member of. During the last General Assembly of ICSU held in New Zealand, there were robust discussions on shaping a more relevant and vibrant role for ICSU where policy impact is central. There were open discussions on shortcomings in the statutes, a review of its programmatic operations, and looking at embarking on a rejuvenated vision and mission. Secretary General Anne Watts convened the social science cluster within ICSU, which is gearing itself to play a more proactive role in future ICSU deliberations. The ISSC Executive Director, Haider Hackman, has been appointed as the incoming ICSU Executive Director with effect from 2nd of March, 2015. The International Union congratulates Haida on this appointment, which is likely to show enormous benefits to the organized science community internationally, especially with respect to the central underpinnings of the behavioral sciences. Our last assembly that was held in Paris on the 10th of July and which received the midterm EC report also deliberated on statute and other proposed changes to the functioning of the union to ensure that we are effectively able to deal with a fast growing organization which develops, represents, and advances psychology as a science nationally, regionally, and internationally. Undoubtedly, the 125th anniversary celebrations of the first ICP at the Eiffel Tower was a memorable event befitting our founders who had the foresight to organize that first ICP in August 1889 
during the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. Over the last millennium and a quarter, IUSIS and its flagship ICP have grown enormously. IUSIS has an enviable global footprint that will do our founding organizers and eminent participants at that first ICP proud. Psychology is truly a worthy STEM discipline that no country or region can afford to ignore. On behalf of our 86 national members and our 20 regional and international affiliates, I take this opportunity of wishing you a peaceful and productive 2015.